Renewable energy is a viable means of generating energy in Asia. For solar power, South Asia has the ideal combination of both high solar insulation and a high density of potential customers. Cheap solar can bring electricity to a major chunk of subcontinent's people who still live off grid, bypassing the need of installation of expensive grid lines. Also since the costs of energy consumed for temperature control squarely influences a region's energy intensity, and with cooling load requirements roughly in phase with the sun's intensity, cooling from intense solar radiation could make perfect energy economic sense in the subcontinent. Renewable energy by country Afghanistan Bangladesh In Bangladesh, biomass, hydro and solar are the main sources of renewable energy and altogether these sources contribute about 60% of the nation's primary energy supply. A number of domestic solar energy systems are in use in houses around the country. The use of solar energy on this scale is highly potential and advantageous as more than 60% of areas in the country do not have access to main grid electricity. The World Bank is backing a program of making solar energy available to wider population in Bangladesh, as part of the Rural Electrification and Renewable Energy Development Project which subsidizes solar energy systems. A typical solar home system can power 2 to 8 low energy lights plus a socket for TV, radio or battery recharging and a mobile telephone charging unit too. Each system consists of a solar photovoltaic panel mounted on the house roof. Depending on its size, this provides between 40W and 135W of electricity in full sunlight the most common being 50W. Grameen Shakti is the largest organization installing rural-based solar home system in Bangladesh. Other companies working on similar solar energy based SHS are Rural Services Foundation RSF, BRAC, Hillfulfugil and so on. The model of micro-finance based SHS is now being copied in other parts of the world as a successful business model. Rahimafruz is a major supplier of high-quality solar batteries and other solar components for the program. Rahimafruz Renewable Energy Limited has been the pioneer in installing solar-powered centralized systems, water pumps for irrigation and pure drinking water, water heaters, street lights, and solar-powered telecom solutions to various organizations. They are working closely with pertinent government organizations in installing solar-powered medical refrigerator that provides emergency life-saving medicines in the off-grid rural areas. A company named Digital Technology is doing research and development of solar PV products like solar billboard lighting, mini-grid system for irrigation etc. China In China there now are six factories producing at least 2 GW per year each of monocrystalline, polycrystalline and non-crystalline photovoltaic cells. 
These factories include the LDK Solar Co., Wuxi Suntech Solar Energy Co., Ltd., which produces approximately 50 MW per year of solar cells and photovoltaic modules, the Yunnan Semiconductor Parts Plant, which manufactures approximately 2 MW per year of monocrystalline cells, the Baoding Yingli Solar Energy Modules Plant, which manufactures approximately 6 6 MW per year of polycrystalline cells and modules, the Shanghai Jiaowa Guofei Solar Energy Battery Factory, which produces approximately 1 MW per year of modules, and the Shanghai PV Science and Technology Co., Ltd., which produces approximately 5 MW per year of modules. China has become a world leader in the manufacture of solar photovoltaic technology, with its six biggest solar companies having a combined value of over $15 billion. Around 820 MW of solar PV were produced in China in 2007, second only to Japan. Suntech Power Holdings Co. based in Jiangsu, is the world's third biggest supplier of solar cells. There are some obstacles to the further development of the Chinese solar energy sector that China faces. These obstacles include the lack of a nationwide comprehensive photovoltaic PV plan, the lack of updated facilities and sufficient financial resources to support PV research at research institutes, the lack of sufficient facilities and resources at companies manufacturing PV products, the failure of companies to be able to produce high-quality, reliable and low-cost PV products and the relative relatively weak educational and training opportunities in China for PV science and technology about 50 megawatts of installed solar capacity was added in 2008 more than double the 20 megawatts in 2007 but still a relatively small amount According to some studies, the demand in China for new solar modules could be as high as 232 MW each year from now on until 2012. The government has announced plans to expand the installed capacity to 1,800 MW by 2020. If Chinese companies manage to develop low-cost, reliable solar modules, then the sky is the limit for a country that is desperate to reduce its dependence on coal and oil imports as well as the pressure on its environment by using renewable energy. In 2009, center to the PRC government's plans is the recently announced Golden Sun stimulus program. Under this program the Ministry of Finance will subsidize half of the total construction costs of an on-grid solar power plant, including transmission expenses. The Ministry of Finance will also pay subsidies of up to 70% to develop independent photovoltaic power generating systems in remote regions. The strong-handed move by the government is meant to encourage more solar projects to increase the current solar power capacity, which at 2008 stood at a paltry 40 MW. As the government targets to increase China's solar power capacity up to 20 GW by 2020, this will provide significant opportunities for solar cell and module manufacturers. Many of the solar industry players therefore will expect for chances to be benefited from the government programs especially the solar cell manufacturers. With the hope of increase in local demand, some of the new developments have been going on with this region, like Anwell Technologies Limited, a Singapore-listed company having its solar cell manufacturing plant in China, has produced its first thin film solar panel with its own developed production lines in September 2009. 
According to the speech given by the Chinese President Hu Jintao's at the UN Climate Summit held on September 22, 2009 in New York, China will intensify effort and adopt ambitious plans to plant enough forest to cover an area the size of Norway and use 15% of its energy from renewable sources within a decade. India India is both densely populated and has high solar insulation, providing an ideal combination for solar power in India. Much of the country does not have an electrical grid, so one of the first applications of solar power has been for water pumping, to begin replacing India's 4 to 5 million diesel-powered water pumps, each consuming about 3.5 kW, and off-grid lighting. Some large projects have been proposed, and a 35,000 square kilometers area of the Thar Desert has been set aside for solar power projects, sufficient to generate 700 to 2,100 gigawatts. The Indian Solar Loan Program, supported by the United Nations Environment Program has won the prestigious Energy Globe World Award for Sustainability for helping to establish a consumer financing program for solar home power systems. Over the span of three years more than 16,000 solar home systems have been financed through 2,000 bank branches, particularly in rural areas of South India where the electricity grid does not yet extend. Launched in 2003, the Indian Solar Loan Programme was a four-year partnership between UNEP, the UNEP Riso Centre, and two of India's largest banks, the Kanara Bank and Syndicate Bank, according to Development Counselors International (DCI), a United States marketing company, India is the second best country after China for business investment. United Nations Environment Programme (UNEP) has reported that India has seen a 12% increase in investment in the renewable energy sector with an investment of $3.7 billion in 2008. The largest share was asset finance at $3.2 billion which grew by 25%. The clean renewable energy includes wind, solar, biomass and small hydro projects. The major portion of investment has been made in wind energy sector. The investment in wind energy sector grew at 17% from $2.2 billion to $2.6 billion. Indonesia Topic Israel Topic Japan Japan currently produces about 10% of its electricity from renewable sources the renewable share goal is 20% by 2020. Topic: Lebanon. Topic: Nepal. Topic: Pakistan. Solar Power in Pakistan discusses the generation and development of electricity via solar thermal or photovoltaic technology in that country. The country has solar plants in Pakistani Kashmir, Punjab, Sindh and Balochistan. 
Initiatives are under development by the International Renewable Energy Agency, the Japan International Cooperation Agency, Chinese companies, and Pakistani private sector energy companies. The country aims to build the world's largest solar power park, the Quaid e Azam Solar Power Park in the Cholistan Desert, Punjab, by 2017 with a 1 GW capacity. A plant of this size would be enough to power around 320,000 homes. Projects. <laughs> <laughs> Topic: Introduction of clean energy by solar electricity generation system. On May 29, 2012, Pakistan inaugurated its first solar power on grid power plant in Islamabad. Introduction of clean energy by solar electricity generation system is a special grant aid project by the Japan International Cooperation Agency under the Kulio Earth Partnership. This project includes the installation of two 178 kW photovoltaic systems at the premises of the Planning Commission and Pakistan Engineering Council. This is the first on-grid solar PV project that employs net metering, thereby allowing the beneficiaries to sell surplus electricity to the Islamabad Electric Supply Company the electricity distribution company of the Islamabad division. The project was executed with grant assistance worth 480 million yen, approx 553.63 million Pakistani rupees over 3 years commencing in 2010. Other projects Aviation Enclave Karachi installed the first high-quality integrated solar energy system with a 15 kW power generation capacity capable of grid tie-in at, Aviation Enclave Karachi in September 2016. It was a pilot project for Central Facilitation Agency and Central Builders and Developers Beacon House installed the second high quality integrated solar energy system with a 10 kW power generation capacity capable of grid tie in at Beacon House Canal Side Campus, Lahore. It was a pilot project for BSS designed by U.S. consultants, based upon feasibility by the U.S. Trade and Development Agency 50 to 100 MW of photovoltaics is expected to be installed in 2013, and at least 300 MW in 2014. In May 2015, 100 MW of a planned 1,000 MW were installed in the Quaid e Azam Solar Park. <laughs> <laughs> Annual solar irradiation Solar irradiance in Pakistan is 5.3 kWh per square meter per day. Pakistan set a target to add approximately 10 GW of renewable capacity by 2030 in addition to replacing 5% diesel with biodiesel by 2015 and 10% by 2025. Photovoltaic installations Year installations in MWP notes Cumulative Capacity added Capacity 2014 400 calculated back from 2015 added capacity data 2015 1600 preliminary data
Topic government policy Raja Pervez Ashraf, former Federal Minister of Water and Power announced on July 2, 2009 that 7,000 villages would be electrified using solar energy by 2014. Senior advisor Sada Zulfika Koza stated that the Punjab government would begin new projects aimed at power production through coal, solar energy and wind power, this would generate additional resources. The government of Pakistan allowed the provincial government of Sindh to conduct feasibility research. The government planned to install a desalination plant powered by solar energy. Topic: <inaudible> Philippines. The Philippine government sees the growth of the renewable energy sector essential for national energy security. The Philippines' fossil fuel sector is unsustainable, being dependent on the import of non-renewable fuel, including petroleum, but has significant potential in the renewable energy sector. Based on a report of an Australian consulting firm, International Energy Consultants, the Philippines has the highest electricity rate in Asia, followed by Japan. Transmitting power and transporting fuel throughout the Philippine archipelago is problematic due to very high cost. The Philippines could be considered a world leader in renewable energy, with 30% of its power generation being powered by the renewable energy sector. The Philippines is the world's second largest generator of geothermal energy and was the first Southeast Asian nation to invest in large-scale solar and wind technologies. Topic South Korea In 2008, South Korea came fourth in the list of installed PV capacity according to EPIA statistics as a result of the favorable feed-in tariff system with a cap of 500 MW in 2008. According to DisplayBank, the new PV market creation plan announced in 2009 is expected to boost the Korean PV installment market to increase to 200 MW by 2012. The government further announced plans to increase more than double its financing for renewable R&D projects to 3.5 trillion won, $2.90 per 1.9 billion pounds by 2013. The government also plans to expand its system of tax breaks to cover new technologies in solar such as wind and thermal power, low emission vehicles and rechargeable batteries etc. See also